بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ان دس لیسن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ پریزنٹ کانٹینیوس ٹینس آر یو ریڈی آر یو لسننگ آر یو واچنگ گڈ ناؤ لیٹ اسٹارٹ وتھ پریزنٹ کانٹینیوس ٹینس پریزنٹ کانٹینیوس ٹینس از یوزڈ ٹو شو این ایکشن still going on at the time of speaking for example i'm speaking and you are listening present continuous tense is formed by adding is are or am to a verb plus ing for example he is writing a letter It means that he is in the process of writing a letter right now. Such actions which are happening at the time of speaking are expressed by present continuous tense. Let's look at few examples of present continuous tense. I am walking to the bookshop. John is washing his bicycle. The boys are running on the road. In these sentences, washing, walking and running are examples of present continuous tense. Now let's see the sentence structure of present continuous tense. It is formed by subject following the helping verb that is is are or am now see subject plus helping verb plus main verb plus ing plus object now see the examples of sentences that are formed by using this sentence structure he is playing football Sana is reading a story book. I am watching this video. Now here, play is changed into playing. Read is changed into reading and watch is changed into watching to show the present continuous tense. Now, have a look at the sentence structure of present continuous tense positive form. If the subject is I, then helping verb am is used after subject in a sentence. If the subject is he, she, it or proper name, for example, Sana, Ali or the cat, then helping verb is is used after the subject in a sentence. If subject is we, you, they or plural, like the children then helping verb are is used after the subject in a sentence dear students to form a present continuous tense it's good to know some spelling rules for many verbs add ing to the base verb for example eat eating talk talking sleep sleeping for example sara is eating her lunch the boys are talking to their teacher the cat is sleeping on the floor however when the verb ends with a silent e drop the e and add i n g for example take taking make making bake baking for example the man is seeking rest under a tree the children are making a snowman the girls are baking a cake for their mother When the verbs 
and in IE change the word IE to Y and add ING for example lie lying tie tying die dying for example she is lying to hide the truth the girl is tying the knots of her ribbon many fish are dying in the polluted water of the pond now verbs ending with w x y just add ing for example cry crying fix fixing so sew, sewing for example the baby is crying for the milk the farmer is fixing a scarecrow in the field the children are sowing some seeds in the pot dear students you already know that a e i o u are vowels and the rest of the letters are consonants now for one syllable word that ends in consonant vowel consonant that is also called a cvc word we double the last consonant and add ing for example hop hopping run running sit sitting for example the frog is hopping in the garden john is running quickly towards his car sana is sitting on the bench now two syllable word that has stress on the first syllable do not double the last consonant just add ing for example visit visiting open opening listen listening for example i am visiting my grandparents today my mother is opening the window of her room i am listening to my teacher now dear students we come towards the negative form of present continuous tense negative form of present continuous tense is used to talk about things that are not happening at the time of speaking to form negative sentences in this tense put not in between the helping verb and the main verb for example you are listening to your teacher you are not listening to your sister second example is you are watching this video you are not watching a movie sentence structure for negative form subject helping verb not verb plus ing if the subject is i we put am as helping verb then not and then verb plus ing that is playing if the subject is he she it sana ali the cat we put helping verb is we put a not and then playing if the subject is we you they the children we put helping verb are then we put not and then playing that is the main verb plus ing your sentences will be like this i am not playing he is not playing she is not playing sana is not playing ali is not playing the cat is not playing now in the plural form we are not playing 
You are not playing. The children are not playing. Now, dear students, open your workbook, page number sixteen, worksheet fifteen. There is a worksheet on present continuous tense. First, see the picture carefully. Now, read the paragraph that is given about this picture. Janet is sitting on a wooden chair in her house. She is holding a coat and fixing it. James is Janet's husband. He is sitting in front of her and fixing clothes. Elizabeth is sitting next to John. She is Janet's sister. She is also helping Janet and John. They are all working together. Suddenly, John's brother Peter comes in carrying a pile of clothes. Now, children, this picture is about a family. They are all working together and helping each other in fixing clothes. There are some questions about the picture. We have to answer them using present continuous tense. Here in question 1 it is asked answer the following questions use present continuous tense Where is Janet sitting what is she doing Yes come on children find out where is Janet sitting Yes she is sitting on a wooden chair in her house So how will we write the answer Janet is sitting on a wooden chair in her house. She is holding a coat and fixing it. Question number 2 is Where is John sitting? What is he doing? Now let's see in the picture where is John sitting? Yes. Our answer is John is sitting next to Elizabeth. He is also fixing clothes. Now, question number two: Rewrite the following sentences as negative sentences. Number one is: She is sitting on a wooden chair. Now, children, quickly recall what we have to do here. Yes, that's great. All of you know. Now, tell me what we have to write here. Yes. We have to put not in between helping verb and the base verb. It's good to know that you all are very smart and intelligent. Yes, your answer is right. She is not sitting on a wooden chair. Now come to sentence number 2. She is holding a coat. Yes, who will do it? Come on come on everyone should know the answer Yes the answer is she is not holding a coat The third sentence is he is carrying clothes Yes what will be our answer Yes the answer is he is not carrying clothes Wonderful children you have done very well Now I hope you can solve the exercise given in your workbook. Thank you so much for being so attentive and listening very carefully. Take good care of yourself. Stay at home. Stay safe. Allah Hafiz.